happy Monday morning, Karen from Mama's Little Lambs. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some books and some games we got while on vacation to add to our homeschool. And I'll be back to share with you what they are. Welcome back, everyone. I am going to be sharing with you, like I stated, some books and games that we picked up while we were in the mountains of Colorado. We had a beautiful five-day vacation. It was my birthday, and we went to Steamboat Springs. We went to Grand Lake. We went to Kremlin. We went to Winter Park. We went to um, Breckenridge. We were all over up in the mountains, so we had so much fun. We went to a small town named Rand. As a matter of fact, the town is there's a post office and there is a store and I think there was a small restaurant and so the first books I'm going to show you in games are ones that I got there it is my absolutely favorite store to go to when I'm up there they have some really neat things and uh, just beautiful and the people are awesome we were the only ones in the store shopping when we were getting ready to leave somebody else came in and we wore our masks so we felt safe and um, like I said we had just a wonderful time the weather, we couldn't have asked for anything better. But I'm going to start with the books I got from there. So why horses do that? A collection of curious um, horses and different things that they do. Things that we wouldn't even think about them doing. And it's just really cool. Mason loves horses. So why do some horses prefer standing out in the rain to being under a shelter? And I just thought they had some great questions that... A lot of times we don't even know as adults because we never really investigated it. So I thought this would be fun and a lot of great information. We're going to do a unit study on horses. And so this, some of these books will go in with that. The next one I got, it's called My Nature Book, a journal and activity book for kids. And it's, I really like this. It's got different things about the project. It's got different things that you can make and create, things you can draw, and things you can look for. It's just a really awesome book. So I grabbed this because we are always journaling. We're always doing things about nature. Um, it has some things in here about birds, and we will be doing um, Gather Around uh, North American Birds uh, unit study. Um, for the first part of the year, so this will go perfect with it. The next one are Prairie Dogs, The Bison, Hidden Critters. Can you find them all? And it, it, this is a fun book and good for critical thinking, and you just have to go in and you have to kind of look for them. Ooh, the polar bears. I'm a bear. But they have different pictures, and you got to try to seek and find the animals that are hid in these pictures. So I thought this would really be good for critical thinking, and just the pictures are absolutely beautiful. They're actually photographs, so it's a great book. The next one is bats, and the reason I picked this one up is because Mason had just been talking about bats, and I saw this and I thought, we're going to get this book. The next one is about moose, which we've seen when we were up there, and it's, it's a beautiful book. Got some great photographs in here, some illustrations along with real photographs. I thought this was such an awesome picture. So just a lot of great things to know about them, where they live, what kind of things they eat, um, the dangers, how we need to protect ourselves, what their um, scat looks like, what their tracks look like, and just great information about them. The next one is American Mountains Guide to plants and animals so this was a great book because like i said being out in the mountains and you want to know about different snakes you want to know about different birds and bugs and all the things that you find there in the mountains so it's really really great and it just has some beautiful illustrated pictures in here with lots of great information so i like to look for these things when we're out on our nature walk look for the different leaves our trees so this will be great the next one is Native American Wisdom and Gifts. So I thought this was really cool. It has some really cool pictures in here. Got some great information. Land of the Free talks about gifts of language, 
goes on and has some beautiful pictures in here and it's got great illustrations in here and it just talks about sports and games and hunting and fishing all the things the native americans did so it's a really great book so i am excited about that we are doing u.s history so that will fit in perfect going along with lewis and clark caves and caveman whoops caves and Caveners. So it's just got really cool caves and different things you can see in caves. And it's really neat. Just the crystals that are in there and how we have to be careful inside caves and the layers of caves and how you need to be dressed and the different time zones and the different layers. Animals that like to live in caves um, and when are caves safe to go in and the drawings that are on the cave walls. The next one is Album of Horses. Absolutely beautiful. It talks about all the Shetland Pony. It just goes through and talks about all the different horses. Once again, Mason loving horses. I thought this would go great with our horse unit. So I went ahead and picked up this one. The next one is Mountain Night and Mountain Day. So the animals that are out in the mountain during the daytime and then ones at night that like to be out and about hunting and searching for food. The next book I got is Born Wild in Yellowstone and Grand Teton National Parks. So this was a really cool book. Um, we had gone there, and I put this because I did not show it to you last time. This one is Outdoor Math, Fun Activities for Every Season. So this was really cool. I was excited that I had found this. And it just goes through different things you can do, different seasons, what you can use for math, how we can count, what we can do, what we can use, how we can paint rocks and put numbers on them, and just some really great, great ideas and things to make for counting and doing patterns and things for math. The next one is the Ultimate Animal Adventure, 745 Quick Facts and Hands-On Activities for Year-Round Fun. So it's just got lots of different things you can do, talks about different animals, talks about life cycles, just really a neat book. Different seasons, migrating, adapt, hibernating, so just some really good information. And we're always looking for books on the outdoors, so this was perfect. The next one is Imagine, um, Imagine... Imagination, sorry, Vacation, Colorado. And it talks about some really cool places because, you know, we went to a lot of these great places and we've seen a lot of great things up there. So, sorry about that. I couldn't get that word out. Um, we went to a lot of the places, seen a lot of these things. So it was really kind of neat to know the things you can do when you're on vacation and what we did for my birthday. And it's kind of fun to track back. Where did we go? What did we do? And what did we see? So that was a great book to get. Someone Walks By, awesome book, The Wonders of Winter Wildlife. So I thought this would be really cool to get what passes us by, what do we see with the tracks we see, or the scat we see. So it's nice to see the different animals. And are they uh, migrating? Are they hibernating? Or did they adapt to their um, situation? So great book. This is The 12 Days of Summer in Colorado. And then this is Rocky Mountain Fairy Tales. So I thought that would be great to have. We also picked up, let's see, I've got a few more books here. This is Grins and Giggles, and it's different foods and snacks you can make and things you can prepare. So Fruity Blossoms, Grandpa's Chompers, Green Goblin Grins. So it's got some really cool different snacks, and we will be using these because we're going to be cooking this year. This is um, Morning Camp campfire meals and they just got some really great things in here that look absolutely scrumptious things you can make over a campfire we um, make all our meals we have a kitchen we have a new rv so it was really fun so we didn't go out to eat we ate and i prepared all the meals and my husband um this is almost native how to pass um how to pass as a Col Coloradan. And it's just you, all the things you need to know about Colorado. So if somebody asks you questions and you're saying, well, I've lived here forever, this tells you, have you? Because you know all these answers. So I thought this would be a fun, trivial book for my older daughter. This is Blaze and the Lost Curry. So this is a really neat book. I do have a set of Blaze 
books that I just bought for Mason. And because this is horses, I know that he'll absolutely love this. This is My Pony Bucks. My dad says so. So, another cute book for Mason. These are actually for both of my children. There was a nature log and a bird log. And like I said, we're doing North American birds, so I thought this would go along perfect with that. I also have, there once was a cowpoke who swallowed an ant. And it reminded me of the lady who swallowed the book, the chick, all the different things. Um, so I think that's all the books I have. This is a puzzle that I got. I thought this was really cool. Forest Friends. And it's a wooden puzzle. There's 48 pieces. So I really thought that was really neat. I like the different, I don't want to give you the glare, but Mason will love that. We love doing puzzles. Match a leaf. I got this up here in memory game because, like I said, being out in nature, it's always nice to um, recognize the different leaves you see and trees and bushes and then try to match these. And it's just um, when we do homeschooling on Fridays, perfect to have games. The next one I got is Oh Skunk. It's a card game, and it's really a fun game if you've never played it. The next one is Slamwich. Over 1 million sold, and this is a really fun game, too. So I'm excited. I've not played this one before, but it looked really fun, and he said it was really a fun game. The next one is There is a Moose in the House. So another fun game. New ones to try for Friday fun homeschooling, homeschool gaming. And this is a memory game, North American Wildlife. So I thought this would be really pretty. And basically we're matching. We're also learning and it has fun facts about each of the animals on the back side. The next one, let's see. This one looked cute. This is Prickly Pile Up, a cracking stacking game for the whole family. And it looks like you stack up these and they got different pieces and you try to stack them and build them. So I thought that would be fun. Mason would really like that. And like I said, we can all play this in school. So lots of fun. Um, I did get a cookie cutter of a horse because when we love to make cookies um, and I thought how perfect and appropriate. I don't know if you can see that, that it's a horsey, but that would be fun. And it shows you that the horse is here. So we're going to do that. I also picked up wilderness on the they're like tubes but this is all wildlife and just fun facts about the different animals and it's got bison in there it's got eagles it's got fox it's got moose it's got bears and just a lot of elk a lot of the things that we've seen when we were up in the mountains the next one um because of the u.s history i wanted to get this because we're going to be studying different periods and this is jamestown settlers so i thought this would be perfect um we'll be talking about pilgrims of course indians mason is so excited about the indians and all of the things that happened with horses and cowboys and in the wild west this is splish splash the game that swims with fun so this one, like I've not used this either, but it looked like a lot of fun and it's four and up. So it's good for the whole family. So another fun game we will play. And then the last thing that I got, it um, it's called Woodland Animal Finger Puppets Play and Learn. And it comes with a black bear, a beaver, gray squirrel, a red fox, and fun facts about the animals. And they're super cute. Like here's the little, here's a little black bear and you put them on your hands. Let me just show you real quickly. These are the different ones. We got the beaver, the gray squirrel, and the red fox. So it came with all these different ones, and it has the fun fact card in there, and it came in this little pouch. So I thought these were really cute and would be, Mason will absolutely love these, and we can use these and create our, with our imagination, make up some stories and do some journaling and do some fun things and make other pictures and talk about animals in the forest and in the woods. So I was excited about that. So I hope you've liked everything and you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give me a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And then the notification bell, go ahead and click on that so you'll know when I'm doing more videos. Um, this was a fun haul for me. I love getting things for my children, adding things, books to our library, homeschool library, and just adding games because we enjoy um, learning through games. And it's just so much fun to be a family and what a privilege it is to homeschool. So welcome to anybody who is new. I've had some new people join my channel that are new to homeschooling and it can be such an amazing adventure.
I've been homeschooling for almost seven years, so it's been a blessing to our family. Our littlest one is starting kindergarten this year, so it's kind of bittersweet, it's kind of tearful. It made me a little bit tearful, but we're happy and excited for this new school year. So if you have any questions about anything, please leave them down below. Um, you can get these other places. I'm sure I just got them in the mountains when we were there. May um, you have a rich, beautiful Monday. We will be starting our first day of school tomorrow. Enjoy your full week and may God keep you safe and bless you always. Bye-bye now.